we're off and running. Wasted no time doing exactly that. Strap in for four hours of high-octane NASCAR talk and breaking news as it happens. No putting it off any longer. It's here. It's going to happen. Sirius XM Speedway. We're going in. Here is your host, Dave Moody. Sirius XM Speedway on the air for this Thursday, April 16th, 2015. Hello, everybody. I'm Dave Moody, live in the Barney Hall Studios here at Motor Racing Network World, the broadcast headquarters in Concord, North Carolina. Ready, willing, able to talk NASCAR with you for the next four hours here on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90. Dustin Sweetelson, Rob Pepitone, manning their appointed stations in the Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Beltway Bureau Studios in Washington, D.C. What's going on, fellas? How are you? I'm jazzed, man. I am. J it was a big day. Really? Enthusiasm out of Swedelson. The what, what happened? The second trailer for the new Star Wars movie was released like less than an hour ago. Incredible. You're, you're excited about the new Star Wars movie? Yeah, like you're not a Star Wars guy? Isn't every your, your day was made because they've released a trailer yeah. for the new Star Wars movie. You don't get like sized for movie trailers and especially no, Star Wars. Never, never once in my entire life. First of all, I don't even know what sized means. I, I, is that psyched after you've been drinking your lunch? Like better, well, I, than, better than psyched. Really? No. I, okay. Oh, yeah. So I've I've never been I've never knowingly been sized in my life, and if I was, it sure as hell wouldn't be over a Star Wars movie trailer. You're you're not one of those king geeks. That stands out in front of the movie theater for three and a half days before the movie opens in your Stormtrooper no. cod piece waiting for uh, to buy advance sale tickets, are you? No, I just think the whole story of Star Wars is just intriguing and awesome. The mythical force that's within these people. I mean, and then you got Yoda dropping the knowledge and the, the, the being the wise man. And he's this little tiny green guy. That's what we do here every day. You are not Yoda. I, I am your Yoda. Oh God! I, I am your Yoda, dropping the knowledge on you. Uh, this, this, this program is your force. Oh, I want to swallow a lightsaber. I, I'd be willing to watch that. <laughs> if that was in the trailer, I'd be sized right now. <laughs> if if you swallowing a laser lightsaber and, and having your head just go <laughs> onto the floor was part of the Star Wars trailer i'd be sized right now you, you haven't seen like your generation like how old were you when the originals came out i don't know what year did they come out uh, 70s i don't know way before my well, time okay i was born in 61 so i yeah I, I mean i i will admit i have seen star wars and not i into went it. i went to star wars but i don't think i've gone how many of them have there been up to now uh six six really yeah the ones you saw in your youth were four no, five the one six. the one i the one i saw how in my did youth. you not go to the rest of them how did that happen again uh, uh, again my my goal in life is to not camp out on the sidewalk for three weeks waiting the uh, wearing my wearing my princess leia costume waiting to get advanced sale tickets. i have a life you're, see you're not casting for the movie you don't think it messed no. up you can just go yeah but how many how many of them i mean you've seen these people You've seen no, these. They're people. weird. They're weird. I'll give you that. They are weird. It's just I'm just not all. Uh, you know I, I'm I, I'm not gonna break down sobbing if if the Death Star gets destroyed. Uh, no, you, you want know. the Death Star to get destroyed. It's I do. Bad. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm not gonna break down sobbing if the Death Star doesn't get destroyed. No, I watched I watched the original Star Wars. I've never watched any of the five that came after. A true, true, true statement. I've never watched any of the five Star Wars sequels. Like, the intrigue is there to find out more, especially the last three, which I know some people hate, whatever. I don't care. I'm not that nerdy. The idea of prequels coming out, like, 30 years after the originals is just uh, awesome and fascinating to me. It's just, it's just fleecing the flock for one more sweater's worth of wool as well no those were always originally planned now the one that they just released the additional trailer for that was not a part of the original plans but uh i guess everyone involved uh, there's going to be common threads that are, it's all going to make sense and they're not going to do it injustice apparently thank god you can't convince me who wrote the original star wars was it 
George uh, Lucas. I, George Lucas. You right? can't. It, well, or he directed. You, I don't know. I don't, I, I, well, know, okay. Yeah. I don't know either. So I feel better. But you can't tell me that whoever wrote the original Star Wars story said, okay, I'm going to write this one. He did. It's, it's going to become a multi bazillion dollar uh, entity. And I'm going to write like six or seven of these, including a couple of prequels, because we can milk this thing for the better part of 45 or 50 years. There's no way. Some people aren't short sighted, Dave. They see the big picture. I don't know any people like that. Everybody I know, you know, if they're writing, a, okay, fantastic, they're writing a movie. Nobody figures their little fly around in space and, and, and fire your laser thing is going to be six movies long over the course of the next 45 years. Yeah, the, the, the lady that writes Harry Potter, she didn't, she didn't know she, what she was getting into. She was just writing a nice little story for the kiddies. And all of a sudden, ba-boom, she's got 87 books and she's a bajillionaire. You can't tell me that she saw that coming. The Harry Potter stuff doesn't do it for me. Oh, see, don't say that around my daughter. Wizards are weird. No, no, no. My my daughter can be provoked to violence by by insulting or looking down your nose at the Harry Potter series. That and Lord of the Rings. I don't get I watched the first Lord of the Rings and at the end of it I was like, what did I just do with three hours of my life? Really? But Star Wars you're all about. Star the story just works, man. Hmm. How about Star Trek? No, the movies, yes, the TV show. Good God, that's boring. Well, it's camp. That's the whole point. The whole point is it's camp. It's the it's like the, the you know the Batman deal with Adam West and Burt Ward. Nobody took it seriously. It was camp humor. Have did you see the new Star Trek movies? No. Oh, you need to. They're awesome. No. I, you. You've known me for long enough to know that I go to the movies maybe once a year. These are the ones worth going to. I did go see. I did. My wife and I did go see the the new. Uh, uh, well, new three years ago now. The Hobbit movie, which was really good. That's actually. the Lord of the Rings stuff. I don't. Well, care. I know, but it was still a good movie. They don't wear shoes. But I'm, yeah, I. You know, I'm just. You know, people getting all taking a taking a month off. You know, to prepare for the new Star Wars movie trailer. No. No, my day, my day has not been altered, positive or negative, by the release of the new Star Wars movie trailer, as odd as that may seem to you. Well, those of you who have not seen it yet need to go look at it, because some old friends from the past make an appearance. Old friends? Old friends. It's like Harrison when, Ford pre-plane yeah, crash? What's when, going on? When I say old, I, I mean old. Yeah, you do mean <laughs> old, too. Yeah, yeah old. Mark Hamill. Luke Skywalker. <laughs> I'll whack you with my light cane. Luke's got his like he's got he's got his Jedi Walker. Look out, everybody! Don't let him hit you with the Walker. I mean, they're lucky. Like if if this is a terrible money grab, which there's always yeah. the chance it is. No, if really, if, if you yeah. think it might be, really. I mean, it is a money grab, but there's but, a chance. You're saying. But it being there's a, a chance, it's a money. Grab. There's a difference between a money grab and a terrible money grab. They're two right. very different things. Okay, there's no such thing as terrible money. By they, the, way. the whole series is lucky that that all these people are alive to be in it. Right. I mean, it's been a long time, guys. Sure. Yeah. Han Solo no longer piloting a Millennium Falcon. He's now in a hover round. As soon as I charge my battery, I come over there and whoop your ass. I think the Millennium, sure. the, Why not? the Millennium Falcon somehow is going slow in the fast lane in the sky. That's with its blinker, with its blinker on. on yeah. <laughs> with its blinker on for 17 miles. People stacked up behind him, laying on the horn. Damn it, Solo! Pull over! What's the matter with you? It's the HOV lane. You got nobody. Oh Lord. Well, okay. So here's what we do. I think in celebration, uh -oh. when you make when you make your daily three fifteen walk out to the to the snack machine, uh -huh. you you should buy a couple of honey buns and just slap them on each ear and do your <laughs> Princess Leia imitation. What do you think? Just slap the honey buns underneath your headphones in honor of the new Star Wars trailer. What do you think? I don't know about that. You can eat them later. But then, like, I'm not you, saying you can't eat them. Your ears are sticky. Like, you got to think these things through. Uh, see, no. Thinking it through will ruin it. That's what that. That's the problem. They're delicious, though. I will eat okay. one. Okay. All right. Fine. Get a new one. Right, that's well, the secret. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Nice hot cinnamon roll slapped up against your ear. That. What could go wrong there? <laughs> all right. Well, congratulations to you and and all of the other. Lord God King dorks of the universe that are celebrating the new Star Wars. Not the movie, the movie trailer. 
I you love imagine? movie trailers. Like I, I don't understand how you, you don't get into movie trailers. Sometimes they're better than the actual movie. The the only movie trailers to me are the thing that prevents the two o'clock showing of the movie I went to from starting until two forty. There's a movie trailer out right now that I have watched twenty times and it's only been out for maybe a month. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. But we're no. not, because we all sneak no. candy in because we can't afford to buy well, candy at the movie anymore. There's that. There is that. The movie trailers, You know, the only time I see a movie trailer is when I'm at the movies waiting to see another movie, which is rarely. And my wife and I sit there, and we watch the trailer, and then we look at each other, and we go, nah, not seeing that one. i got to teach you about the Internet. I think you're doing it wrong. I have the internet. I just choose not to waste it on Star Wars movie trailers. Why would I want to watch a trailer for a movie that I'm never going to see? But there's just so much out there that you can check out. I don't know, man. I feel like you, you don't understand the what is out there. No, I'm familiar with the internet. I, I was here almost from the start. I was here when Al Gore created it, as a matter of fact. I was here day one of the internet. I didn't come down. I didn't just roll along after it got perfected like you. Do you remember when you used to have to dial up your connection and then someone would pick up the phone and then the conversation? Do I remember? Get yes. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, I do. Oh, pow, pow. Hold on. Yells. I'm on the phone. Oh, yeah. I'm on the phone. Yeah. yeah. You spent 43 minutes trying to get to the site that to the site you ultimately want to see, and it's gone. It's like. Do you remember Honey, I'm on the internet. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I remember waiting for pictures to load. Like, hold on. It. Any minute now, it's going to finish yeah, seven, seven more minutes, one pixel at a time, and I'm going to be able to discern what this picture is. Yeah, and then your wife picks up the phone and just kills the whole thing. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah it's come a long way. You don't even remember those days, do you? I barely do because I didn't delete the cookies when I was looking at things I shouldn't have been looking at when I was like right. 13, 14. Right. And when you went on the road somewhere? Clear history was a big game changer in my life. Yeah, when you went on the road somewhere? Biggest problem ever was if, like, AOL did not have a local access number, and you had to dial a 1. They're charging me long distance now to get on the Internet. I had to dial 1. What the hell? What's wrong with this town? You don't even have an AOL access number. My grandmother, who passed away not too long ago, was using a an AOL account. Good still, for her. Still Good for her. Good when for she her. died, like, her, her whole life, she only, sure. knew, she only knew AOL as the Internet. I know people, and I think, doesn't Claire B have an AOL I think email so. still? I think yeah. so. Oh, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, if it, you know, you've had it for 48 years. If it works for you, stick with it, I guess. Now, there are still people out there, you know, cruising the old AOL. Why not? Have fun with that. I bought a lot of stock in that a long time ago. Didn't do yeah. very well for me. <laughs> I no longer buy stock because of that. No, no more. Okay. Uh, big story of the day, at least potentially, at some point today, Richard Childress Racing. Uh, their appeal to the National Motorsports Appeals Panel underway.